guys, so today I'm going to show you a really cool uh, new technique on wrapping those oddly shaped gifts that you um, like to get your family members or your friends for Christmas. Um, obviously, unless you put these in a box, they're not going to be perfectly wrapped. Um, so what you want to do is you want to cut you out a nice, pretty good sized sheet of um, wrapping paper and then place your item in the center and then take your sides and bring them over. You At this point, you just want to make sure that you have enough wrapping paper to cover it. Okay, so once you've done that, remove your item, set it to the side, and go ahead and fold each side of your wrapping paper towards the center. And go ahead and give it a good crease and do the same with the other side, just overlapping a little bit. Okay, so it should look something like this. And once you have done that, you're going to um, go ahead and tape from the top all the way to the bottom. And it is okay if you have some gaps in between each piece of tape, but what you want to make sure that you do is place your tape pretty close to the end of the bottom because you, you don't want too much loose paper here at the end. So go ahead and do that all the way up to the top and also make sure at the top, once again, you tape pretty close to the edge. Okay, so now that we have got our um, wrapping paper taped all the way to the top, we are going to just start from the bottom here. This is going to be the base, and we are going to just fold it up towards the center. Okay, and once you've done that, you're going to open this up, and if you're familiar with origami, this should not be anything too hard. Now, this did take me a few times to practice before I got it right, so um, what you're going to do is you're going to open this up, place a finger, your index finger, down here in the corner where it folds. And then we're going to just kind of push our paper down making a triangle and we're going to do the same with this side as well okay so I had a little too much on my end it wasn't wanting, wanting to fold right so I had to cut off a little bit so if you want to go ahead and do that as well if you're not seeing that it's wanting to fold that easily um, so what you're going to do take your finger push it down here in the corner where it comes to a point and then if you turn it to the side like this, you can make your little triangle. So go ahead and do that. And then as you do one side, your other side will just kind of come together. But if you want to, go ahead and use your finger on that end as well. The more you play around with it, the easier it will get. <laughs> um, as you can still see, I am learning but I think I've got it down packed good enough to show you guys. <laughs> but like I said, if you're familiar with origami, then this should be nothing new. Okay, so now we should have like a um, diamond or a square here. So what you want to do now is go ahead and take this bottom corner and we're going to fold it up like this. And then with our other side, we are going to do the same. We're going to meet it in the middle. And if you have a little bit kind of hanging over like I do here, you can either cut it or kind of fold it back. I'm just going to snip mine. And so it's going to look something like this here. Okay, so we did our triangles. And then we're just taking the bottom corner and the top and folding it towards the center. And then you're gonna take a piece of tape and tape that down. All right, so now what we're going to do is just open it up. So now you've got a cute little like gift bag that you can use to store your items in. So there's our bottom. And if you want, you can take a little bit off the top. So what we're going to do is just 
take our gift and place it inside. Check that out, you guys. How awesome is that? Check it out. Awesome, awesome. And then you can just, however you want to fold the top down, um, you can um, either just fold over like this, or you can actually fold it like you do a regular present where you just do the angles. And I always like to do the angles. I think it's a little more traditional. And then just tape it down. And you've got a cute little bag. Alright guys, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the down bar below. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Happy holidays!